What's up, guys? My name's Russian Wilson65 here. My mouth is weird, being weird. Welcome to a mod spotlight on a Applied Energistics 2. Okay. Before we start going into this stuff, this is what you do for the basis. There is world spawn. There is. Let me just get into chart. There is. Certus quartz and charge certus quartz. And when you mine them, you get. Uh, depending on which one, you get certus quartz or charge certus quartz. And here I come over to the quartz grindstone and the, this <laughs> the quartz grindstone the quartz uh, cannot spell uh, yeah. <laughs> How about we just do grindstone? The quartz grind the quartz grindstone is built by a wooden gear wooden gear set built from that from that could be different because I maybe since it has ancient oh war warfare core maybe because of that uh, it could be different ways if you have different mods you have certus quartz. Uh, stones in the corners, and a stone stone in the middle, and then you get the quartz grindstone. But you're also going to need a wooden crank, a wooden crank, which is that. So you plop the quartz grindstone down, then you put the wooden crank over it. This is what you're going to need to get pure quartz. Pure quartz. Charged. Certus <laughs> quartz. You put it in. You hold it until it stops. Then. I cannot put charged quartz. Certus quartz. It has to be only certus quartz. And put that with sand. I'm gonna have to be using my any crafting terminal because I did not put a crafting bench down. You in a shapeless crafting recipe, then you have this. Let's get down to the overworld. These items this is why these items do not despawn. Let's get down to the spawn down here. You're going to be drop these in the water. See those particle effects? Wait, there should be particle effects. Maybe you have to put it set in a puddle, so maybe. Okay, so then you should see some particle effects. See this particle effects. It this might really take a while to do this, and later on I'll show you how on how to grow them. But For another thing, you're going to need redstone, redstone, redstone dust, and sand. Put all of those together. Wait, did I do it wrong?
Helix crystal that don't crash on me is built by one nether quartz, one sur charged surface quartz, and one de redstone dust. I got that well. At least I got the. So let's see if I can get this right. So redstone and nether quartz. So this is it's quite mid game. Should in a second give you flux crest flux crystal. And this is gonna be used for a lot. So let's get back to the base. Okay. After you, this is quite mid-game stuff, and ignore all of this. So, you, to get some other stuff to get further, you're going to need to make a meteor. Meteor. Um, what was it called again? A meteorite compass. So it's just me failing to spell. Got it. So you're gonna make a meteorite compass. Then it should tell you to the chunk. And once you're in that chunk, it will start spinning. Show, shown, shown like right. Since I uh, earlier I was trying to find one, I figured out this. So once you, uh, once you like mine to the center there will be a chest right here but it's already mined it will have an imprint it will have a in I always forget the name of these things I'm tired it will be a skystone chest not like this it will be a lot less easy to see it will be an in wait it will be an inscriber something press will be something then these are extremely important afterwards so when we get back to base there's an one thing there's one thing so you can get started a seriously what the frick watch in a a vibe Bray. It is a vibration chamber made by iron, a furnace, and an energy acceptor. And an energy acceptor is made by a fluid crystal, quartz crystal, by another quartz dust, made by the grindstone, and glass. Wrong one. And put that with a crossing recipe with iron around in the corners. Then you have that. Now, when you have the vibration chamber, you'll you will need coal. And we'll be making a protect. And after it supplies, it goes down in thing. This is a very, very. It's like like beginning game stuff. Then you'll you'll meet you'll meet you'll need to make an energy. You'll need a thing to make where that energy. You're gonna need a place where that energy goes. You're gonna need an energy cell. Made by flu certus quartz in the corners, flux dust made by grindstone by the flux quartz, and of course glass. It will be empty. It will be empty and it will be start charging. It will be start charging as you can see by Wayla. 
contains 1.2.13 and it keeps on going up and up. It can only it can only hold 200 kilo AE. Don't know what, what the K stands for, but I'm guessing kilo because that's the only source that K goes for. And this is like a very, very beginning game starting thing. Later on, you can make these uh, ener dense energy cells, which are made from energy cells and a calculation processor. Oh, well, you're going to need some power for this. And and an inscriber an, ex an inscriber with a uh, flux crystal, iron, and sticky pistons plop it down next to a power source and remember those in in inscriptions or ins <laughs> inscriber this one is needing, needing a inscriber calculation press with a printed engineering circuit which is needing a inscriber that's printed silicon that they'll go into that later an engineering circuit which will guess will need the engineering press and since we're needing a diamond one, we're gonna need a diamond. Yes, we're getting very expensive here. And we're needing to wait my brain. Seriously. Okay, to make the dents, we're gonna need a calculation wait no, we're gonna we're not going to need a diamond one. They look all similar. And they all have the same name. We're going to need one with a pure quartz crystal and an inscriber calculation press. <sighs> Again, you find these in the meteorites. Wait. Oh, no. We're going to get into that later. Okay. And this energy will be, wait, we're also going to need redstone and a silicon from Mandarayo and a inscriber silicon press. So, let's get all this stuff ready. So, let's get the printed, that, and redstone so silicon that and that and it should start making it might take a while and you got a calculation processor and that's easy easily done for a lot of the other ones so you're gonna need to find a lot of meteorites so, just be careful, and you're going to need lots of any stuff. And since we got a dense power cell, which I'm guessing you probably stored energy in it from the vibration chamber from waiting a while, you're probably going to need a lot more quartz crystals and flux crystals. These are where these crystal growth accelerators come in. Say so you ignore this, I'm on a slime island, so it's going to be hard to do all this stuff. So, you got all the stuff you needed, you got your water, got your water source, then You need your power. But how are you going to transfer it to all four? 
with any glass cabling. You're going to be making these with quartz fiber, which is made by quartz and glass, and quartz fluix crystals, or any glass cabling and water. Don't get that. It's probably one of those weird glitch things, and you you're gonna need a lot of this stuff, so this is why you're going to make lots of flukes, crystals, and crystals. And you should be seeing you should be seeing lots of it. And apparently, you can only put it. Up. They can only accept by top and bottom, or whatever that icon looks like to you. Now we can try putting. It will be a lot easier for making quartz and stuff. So charge quartz. It will also be a lot easier for cleaning. Okay, so charge quartz. You need nether quartz and redstone. It's gonna be. We're gonna need a lot of quartz. What? What happened? Oh, I forgot. Wait, no. It's a bucket. It's a quartz crystal. Quartz. It's gonna be a horrible review, but at least some people will get it. Okay. See this? This is nether quartz. The nether quartz. The quartz seeds. We were talking about earlier. It'll grow a lot faster. Like this, we can just wait here for a few seconds and it'll probably be done very soon. Let's check on it. About 8%. Electros. Life. This is what it is. It's mainly electrolyzing the water. Would that stop? How about I be back when the quartz is done growing and me stop blabbering on about stuff? Boom. It's back. Now we come with pure quartz crystal. But I. Maybe we can use it? Hmm. Let's try. Nope. So let's get some more charged quartz crystal. Crystal. Now I get some more flux crystal. And that took a little short time. And with this, I'd like to point out that the growth of it look, took like less than a minute. But... Wait. Sess this up. You have some normal quartz lying around. Or pure. Pure quartz. It likes to fall. Serious quartz. Now it now it is charged. Serious quartz. My, yes, my inventory is a mess. Charge my another quartz crystal. See if it will, nope, it will only work with normal quartz crystal and clear my inventory. Now we've got back some <laughs> clear inventory. So, since we've got all that charged and fluix crystals, you're probably the next thing to do after getting that is you're probably wanting a bigger system to use these uh, stuff on. 
This is where these Emmy controllers come in. These are going to be using Skystone. And this is where we come into Skystone. You we you burn the Skystone you have in in a furnace and it will turn into Skystone blocks. And mainly that's which you use. And an uh, engineering processor, which is Printed engineering circuit, a diamond one, redstone, and printed silicon. Then that makes you, it gives you that with pure flux crystals. <clears throat> Getting flux seed, crystal flux seeds, which is the same thing, with the same thing we used, dust and sand, with the grindstone to make the <coughs> to make the pr pure flux crystals and. Boom, we have this. You're gonna need power to power these. So you can't just like you could put one down. Let's try this out. Hold on. Probably power it. See, it's an expendable as you go. But, say you have this nice system, and, well, let's just keep on powering it. Huh, that's weird. If you did it in a wrong order or something weird, happened it would go come up as a red ringing around everything kind of like kind of like xboxes but it won't it isn't dead forever let's try if this was it nope i don't know what, maybe it was just something with me well you're probably going to stand out with just like one single thing don't know how this is standing up to it But yeah, um, but you're probably, are you sick and tired of all those chests? Say you have like one room just dedicated to chests and you have to figure out which one's which. Well, say, well, you're going to still need a room full of chests, but it's, you can access all that in one single point. But we'll get to that later. These are the Emmy chests. These are built by iron, flux crystals, glass, a pure flux crystal, and an Emmy terminal. Terminal. An Emmy ter terminal is made by a logic processor. You probably, and Scriber is going to take me forever to get that. A formation core, which is built by a certain a quartz, a series of quartz, a flux dust, and a logic processor. Prob it will give you two. And R, R, and that will give and an annihilation. Will give you need nether quartz, or ne pure nether quartz, pure nether quartz crystal, flux dust, and a logic processor will give you an annihilation processor. Put that with an illuminated or dark illuminated panel. I do not know how those are work. Oh, a dark illuminated panel is made by quartz crystal, glowstone, redstone, and iron. Not very bad. Then put that all together and then you get an Emmy chest. You're probably gonna pull it, put it to the system. Uh, say, I'm gonna just make a new system. So say I have like a system like this. This. So say you have like a system like this. Not very complex because it's take for taking forever to find these stuff. You're gonna put it up. Oh, forgot. 
do not access it with the quartz, Sarah's quartz wrench, or any wrench for the matter. And you can probably decide by that mainly a wrench it is accessible by any wrench. And you're probably gonna pick up this side and it says Emmy Chest cannot read sword so or you're gonna pull up this and it will pull up Emmy Chest in a GUI. Ignore that. That is for uh stats for nerds mainly. The YouTube stats for nerds. But also it's if you're wanting to make a very complicated system, I should I should recommend using that, but it's very complicated to use. So you're gonna need a an Emmy storage. You're probably gonna the storage shell. You're probably gonna start out with the 1K. It can only you can only hold one, 63 types and probably one 1,024 bytes used. So that would be a kilobyte. I'm guessing that would be a kilobyte. I'm a computer guy, but I just forgot. Okay, you're gonna need one. Okay, redstone, quartz crystal, and iron ingots, and one MK storage component. You're going to need, for to make that, you're going to need quartz crystals, redstone, and a logic processor. Sorry, something happened. Okay. And the logic processor is made by the inscriber, and you've probably guessed by that by now. So, you're gonna grab that. You're probably gonna try clicking it, and it's not gonna work. Put it in the slide slot, and it should pop up here. Then you can access this. Say your controller's over here, and your house is over here. You have, and you, you have some of that uh, cabling left, so let's use it to our advantage. You know, I was using a. The thing was using a, an Emmy terminal. We'll grab another. Should just build two for the sake of it. You're gonna grab an Emmy terminal if I can find one. Not the crafting or the pattern inscriber because that's for audio crafting and lots of bigger stuff. So let's put some stuff in. Let's put some stuff in here. Let me just get my Emmy channel stuff back. Then you you go to your house. Then you come to your things, and it's all here. And also, you can go for. You can do the search. Uh, this is actually you. This can has any I synchronized. This is sort order view and store. It will. I think it will only start with stored, but change it to stored and craftable. Just just do it for now because. Well, the craftable is meaning since it's using. It thinks it's the crafting terminal, but it isn't. So just access that. So you, you might can do stored and craftable. So you can do both. Because if you're doing an auto crafting system, there's going to be a lot of. Okay. So you've got a nice system and everything's all right. But you're sick and tired of putting everything in and out. Since I really don't have any good uh, thing to use it with, let's just use an orange furnace. You try putting it up to it and it doesn't connect. Well, I'll just stick to explain you why. It is using what is it is. You're gonna need a get back to it uh, a storage bus first of all you're gonna need a storage bus 
and a an import bus. Wait, an import bus and an export bus. An import will no, an export will export items into it. An import will import items from it. So you've got the coal supplied. You got the coal supplied. And gosh, frame rate. And you have like tons of iron ore. So So you're going to put the you have to have the iron ore in hand, so put get grab some iron ore. Put it in. It will not actually take it, it will just put a ghost item in. And if you have an in for exporting the item, you have an iron bar. Put an iron bar for the Thing. Again, we'll take it, just puts it as a ghost item. Okay. And let's go back to my. Yeah. Oops. Well, just put it in the chest. Unless I got this whole thing wrong. Oh, it's taking everything. Hold on. Oh yeah. While well, I mention it now, you can store more than a stack. Yep, yeah, you can store more than a stack. is taking the coal. It's not, let's make it not take the coal. It should take the iron. Okay. Here's where everything gets a little complicated if it hasn't already you're gonna there's these basic cards and advanced cards you can tell from which one's which a basic is the an, an iron is a using a calculation processor with I'm guessing the pure quartz crystal iron redstone gold and the advanced card takes diamond, another calculation processor with pure quartz, redstone and iron. And if anyone's messed with the original AE, you probably know what a fuzzy, a fuzzy inter export and import bus are. A fuzzy card ignores MPD data or 
ID data. Uh, is the import not working? The export export. This is how I remember how which one's which. Import import the item into the block. Export exports the item from the block. It's sometimes hard to remember. Import some stuff into it. Let's take some iron. Take the iron. Maybe it isn't. Don't know why it's not working. Maybe we're going to have to do this. We're going to be using the ME interface, which is which is used by an ME interface, put in a crafting recipe, which is a formation uh, core and an annihilation core, which I already went over, iron and glass. So, this is built for, like, mods that can't understand what it's trying to say, like, the import bus isn't working, this the tube, that is not an Okay, let's grab the right thing this time and in, in the interface. So, iron ore. So, iron. Iron ore turns into. So, iron ore turns into iron ingots. You know what? <laughs> Since I've been trying to mess with this system, I think I might know a little other thing we can try. We're going to be using the pattern terminals. Pattern terminal, which is made by get a crafting terminal and an engineer processor. So as you can tell, hmm, this whole processing pattern, iron ore turns into iron, and we need this, we need a We need a a blank pattern, wait, which is used by made by glowstone quartz iron and quartz glass. Then you encode it in. You can put it into the ME interface, which <sighs> everything is messing up. ME interface, you are it up. You get the encoder, then you it is not going well. You know what? I'll look at that uh, in a little bit, but. 
I'll see you all guys in the next video of the Mod Showcase.